For more than 1 billion people in the world, electricity is a luxury they can't afford. In the East African country of Kenya, more than 80% of households aren't connected to electricity. And in the rural areas, the numbers are even worse. But for students at the Kakamega School for the Deaf, access to reliable and affordable power is more than a convenience. For them, light is life. I'm Kipson Ikumu Mnanga, the principal of the Kameka School for the Day. I have 76 kids. Um, they have the varied needs. We, I have autistic, uh, autistic children. I have those who are mentally, but mild. But the major disability we have here is uh, hearing impairment. They can't hear, they can't talk. They face a very harsh environment, eh? both at home, because even such a kid at home, there's no communication. So when they come here, the first step is to teach sign language, particularly the closest vocabulary. And you can imagine now it is dark and there's no light. That means no communication. As early as 7, 7 p.m. So that means there will be no communication until morning. After hearing about the students at Kakamega School for the Deaf, we knew we had to help. Last May, the WeShare Solar team traveled to Western Kenya to install five portable and environmentally friendly solar suitcases built by Wells Fargo employees and high school students in London. For three days, our technicians climbed and crawled their way through every inch of the school all while under the watchful eyes of students. After checking every light bulb and connecting every line, the team and students began waiting for night to arrive. And finally, it was time. It is like it's daytime. It will bring a lot of impact. A very big impact to these children. They are very happy. This is a home they can call a home. <laughs>